Hello and welcome to another Unity programming tutorial. In this tutorial, we will going to go over how you can control the camera movement. Uh, and in order to do that, we will going to be creating this. In order to do that, we're going to be creating this project in Unity. This is a very simple project in which I will going to be adding to the game a plane. And on the plane, I'm going to simply add a 3D object. Let it be a sphere or a cube, doesn't really matter. You place it nicely, you can see that the camera can see it. Now to my camera, I would like to add a script. So I'm going to go under Add Component and add a script to my camera. Before I add the script to you, let me talk uh, about some of the properties that are available to you in your project. For example, if you go under Edit Menu, and you go under project settings there are a lot of the project objects which are listed right here and one of them is called input if you click on input and then now you visit the inspector it gives you all of those input objects that are helpful to you when you're controlling axis so if you notice in the list one of them is horizontal and one of them is a vertical and that's exactly those are the two objects I'm going to be using in this example I will going to be using the horizontal and vertical objects so that I can control with the help of the up key, the down key, the left key, the right key, the camera movement so that, so that it moves on the plane. So in order, to, in order to do this example, we will going to click on the camera and we will going to add a component to the camera and this will going to be a script. I'm going to call this one move camera script. And as I double click on it, it'll going to open up in Visual Studio. And in the Visual Studio, we're going to be writing some code on the update. But we're going to be using a couple of floating point variables. I'm going to call these one input X and input Z. Inside the update method, in the input X, I would like to ask the input object, remember I showed you the input object which is under edit and the properties, the input object, we want to get the axis, that's under the axis property, and I want to read the horizontal properties value, and the H is uppercase, it's case sensitive, so if you lowercase the H it will going to give you an error. Similarly for input Z, I want to read the vertical. If the value of input x is not equals to zero, I will going to call one method. Let's call this one rotate. And if the value of input z is not equals to zero, then we're going to call another method. Let's say we we're going to call it move. Now you can bring your mouse over rotate and show potential fixes and generate a method. Similarly you can do that with the move. You can show potential and then you can generate a method. In neither of the two methods I'm going to be needing a throw statement so I'm going to get rid of that right away. And in the rotate and move I will going to be writing my code like this. In move, I would like to go about with the z-axis, so I can say transform dot position. I would like to change the position of transform by pushing it forward times the value of input z, which will going to tell me if I'm actually going backwards or forwards times the time dot delta time and I already explained to you in previous tutorials what that that does and in rotate I would now like to call upon transform again to rotate and in the rotation we will going to create a vector 3 object 
take the value of input x, times it with time dot delta time variable, and this will going to be not changed. So this is how I'm controlling my rotation, where the first and the third parameters are zero, and only the middle parameter is what I'm changing. So this will going to happen on every update whenever I move my arrow keys. Now, horizontal will going to be changed with the left and the right arrow key, and the up and the down is being controlled by the vertical. And I'm just simply reading those, and I'm controlling things at the camera level. Now let me switch back to Unity, and let me s apply my patterns. So I applied my pattern to the plane, and I applied this pattern to the surface. After this, I'm going to run the game. Now that I'm running my game, I can now use my arrow keys. And as you can see, as I press the up arrow key, I'm getting closer to the object. As I go left, I'm moving away. As I go right, I'm moving to the right. And as I go back, I'm moving away. So going towards the object, moving away from the object, going to the left, rotating the camera to the left, rotating camera to the right. So I'm able to control the camera movement right through this code. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial. Catch you in the next one.